deep prayer. Deep people pray deeply. We all hate shallowness. We hate cheap talk. We hate wasted breath. We hate running around with ridiculous schedules, having a life that has no depth in it, has no depth of wisdom, has no spiritual depth. Well, deep people pray deeply and deep prayer produces a depth in us that is phenomenal, a depth of character, uh, a steadiness, a certainty, deep, deep roots that are rooted in God, rooted in his word, rooted in truth. You know, prayer often becomes something that's religious. We do it because it's a chore, because we should, and we're trying to impress God. And this inauthentic type prayer will never get you anywhere, and it doesn't create true depth. Also, we can pray sometimes because we want help. This is self-help prayer. It doesn't create depth. It creates feelings. It creates emotions. We feel good. It's therapeutic prayer. We cry out to God because it's like therapy and we walk away feeling a little bit better, but it doesn't create an immovable depth in us. The storms can come, our waters can rise, and we will not shift because we are deep in God. Philippians 3.10 really gives us the insight. Paul tells us kind of how he prays, what he focuses on. And to be a deep person, to be, you need to be a deep prayer. To be a deep prayer, you need to focus your prayer on knowing Christ. That you let go of everything else in this world, you consider it all garbage, and that you continually push on to know Christ, to understand him. Your prayer is meditating on the words of Jesus. That your prayer life is pushing into an intimacy with God through faith in Jesus Christ. You want to know how Jesus thinks. You want to know what Jesus would do. You want to know how, how Jesus uh, acts so that you can live righteously. You can live a godly life. So to have deep prayer is to know Christ. Go and read Philippians 3.10 or 3, seven to. Uh, about 15. It's phenomenal on knowing Christ. Paul gives us the understanding of knowing Christ through three different things. It's knowing the resurrection of Jesus. So understanding that the victory, the greatest victory that the world has ever seen is the victory over sin and death. Is If death has been conquered by Jesus, then everything's going to be okay. Then everything else we are going to survive. And not only do you conquer death in this life, but in the next life, it's going to be okay for all of eternity. What certainty that gives you that God is in control. Secondly, to know Christ is to know his suffering. To understand that when you suffer, suffer for righteousness. Don't suffer for foolishness, but suffer because you live a righteous life. Because you're a man or woman of truth. Because you have a phenomenal depth in following Jesus that brings about persecution, brings disagreement, uh, brings people who want to attack you. And that's okay because suffering for Christ creates depth within us. And it's to know the sufferings of Jesus. It's to know Christ. And finally, it's to know God or to know Jesus by being transformed into the likeness of his son, into the likeness of Jesus Christ. Deep prayer creates transformation. You know you've prayed deeply because you leave your prayer time deep, uh, different. You leave your prayer time deeper. This is what it means to know Christ. This is what it means to deep, deeply pray and to become a deeper person. God wants you to be deep. You want to be deep. No one wants to be shallow. God needs warriors. He needs men and women of God. He needs people of deep character. Hope this has encouraged you. Please give me a little subscribe below and I'll put out some more videos to help us move forward in Christ. Bless you.